Welcome to part 13, Networking Player Health. Okay, so in the health script, I want the server to be responsible for applying damage and keeping the current health value in sync across the network. So first of all, using unity engine.networking, make it inherit from network behavior. And to do that, this current health value, um, this variable, is going to become a sync bar. So add that attribute to it. And this means that the server, whenever the value changes on the server, it will then inform the clients of this uh, variable, of, well, of the value. And uh, to make the code only run on the server, I have to put in a check. If not is server, then return. So get out of this method. So the clients will jump out, but the server will continue and carry out these instructions. Okay, so let's try that out. Now the health bar won't be synchronized. It'll be out of sync, but the actual health, because there's nothing to update the health bar, but the actual health value is synchronized. So for example, I have just shot that. You can't see it here in the health bar, but if you go and have a look at the um, actual player on their current health, you'll be able to see it's 50. It has actually dropped. The server has informed the client what the current health is. We just need to update uh, see, this bit of code is now unreachable on the clients, right? It's only running on the server, so we just need a new method. So let me just shut that down. And stop it in the editor and go back to the script. So I'll write a new method. Void on change health int health. And I'll just cut this line. Replace current health with the value health. Okay. And then here, I need to add a hook. So I'll just copy this name. It needs to be exact. So sync var hook is equal to. And you have to refer to it by its name. So what this is saying is that whenever the server this current health value changes on the server. It will then be updated on the clients, and the clients know that if this value changes, then it should call this method, and the method will be supplied with that updated value, and now we'll use that value to update the health bar. So that's what's happening. So let's go try that out now. So there we go, put in the host client. OK. There we go. So it's in sync now. Yep, and all good. And unlike before, now the health bars are perfectly in sync. No out of sync at all. That's excellent. OK, so next we'll look at death and respawning. 